So, today I'm gonna show you how to create your own custom font with BirdFont, from start to end. Open BirdFont. Click on New Font to open a new project. So, here you can see the character sets available for you to insert your own custom font. So, I'll be making the question mark symbol. So, go on here and double click on the question mark character. Now, your workspace pops out and here is where all your design and customization is done. To begin designing your font directly in BirdFont, click the Add New Points icon. So now just roughly sketch the shape of your character. So, once you have closed the loop, you'll see your character with a black fill. Just let me do the same with the dot down here. So now you see the two vertical lines and two horizontal lines here. So this are the boundaries which define the standard size of the font. In order to make the font properly sized, we need to enlarge our font to fit. Click on the Select and Move Paths tool. Click and drag to select. Now I'm gonna enlarge it. And I'm also gonna rotate it a little. OK. I'll do the same with this little dot here. Alright, now that our sketch is complete, let's brush up our design by clicking on the arrow icon here to move the control points. I'm going to adjust it a little bit. A little over here. And over here. Customize your font until you're satisfied. Once you're done click on the three line icon at the top right corner here and save your project. So, you can go ahead and create all the other characters, but for this demonstration purpose, I'll only be showing you for one character. So to export your font, click on import and export. Rename your file and your font. Uncheck the formats that you don't need. The free open license version of BirdFont doesn't offer exports in the OTF format. So we're saving it as a TTF font. OK, once you're done, click on Export. Locate the file on your computer, install it, and you are now able to use your own font for your text. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.